Hey guys, I'm here in my guest room about to go through the next phase of my Marie Kondo tidying up process. This isn't in the book or on the TV show, but I'm doing um, junk drawers. So I put, I have two junk drawers, nightstand and then in the kitchen. These are like my personal junk drawers, <laughs> not my husband's things. So I put them all in this box and I'm gonna go through it. But I just had something that I had to get off my chest. And so I'm gonna talk to you about something I think is very important while I begin this process. Now, we had, thank you. We had a Super Bowl party on Sunday. And I was not really trying to have this party. So as soon as the moms left, I went to my friend's house who lives nearby and I was gone for just a few minutes and when I came back I heard some guys saying talking about Tom Brady and his body and well if I had a personal chef if I had a dietitian then I would look like that too blah 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 and I just kind of thought it was interesting I was like you you could still look like that even if you don't have those things those things make it easier, but you could still look like that. You just don't. And he was like, well, yeah, this is my husband, another guy. And they're like, well, yeah, I mean, but if I had, I'm like, yeah, if you did have it, but you don't actually, you don't need that. Like you could still do it. It would be harder, but you could still do it. So then the one guy, he conceded to me and was like, yeah, I mean, it is laziness, blah, blah, blah. And I just said, I, what was the point of this conversation? You're just talking about reasons you can't achieve something. Like, what? what's the purpose? I didn't really want to go too far in it because you know they ain't woke. Like, I'm woke. But it seemed so pointless. And I feel like we do that sort of thing all the time. We spend more time talking about why we aren't qualified for something, why it's okay that we don't achieve this, or reasons it's somebody else's fault and don't spend time thinking about the ways that we can take control of the situation, which I think is exactly what was happening there. It feels good to tell yourself that whatever you've got is enough and you shouldn't want more because being out here trying to get more without any sort of path to follow it's hard, it's scary, and you have to choose to believe in yourself. The path to mediocr mediocrity is well paved, and we've been on it for all these years. So, yeah, I understand why people want, people tend to lean toward complacency, but I just feel like it's it's time to change. I'm going to say this. this these are This is kind of like what I've been learning since April, since that time that I looked at going back to work and having to pay somebody to watch my newborn baby that I wanted to be with but couldn't because I had to go work a job I knew wasn't a part of my future. I have been learning this and it is you can achieve great things. Nobody has to come give you permission. Nobody has to hold your hands. It's up to you. You don't have to have some sort of super gift like singing like Adele or Whitney Houston. You don't have to be a pro athlete. You can be successful. But in realizing it is within our reach to be successful, we also have to take responsibility for the reasons that we're not successful. I'm obviously not going to be able to do this and talk. <laughs> so I, I just want to have this conversation about ownership, owning your life, taking control of your life, and also taking control of the reasons you don't have the life that you want. Step one is accepting that you have potential. And the other side of that is accepting that you are the only reason you will or will not realize that potential. It's not because of where you were born, where you grew up. It's not because, at least not in America, it's not because this person's parents paid for them to go here and knows this and that person it's not because of the illuminati it's because of you your mindset your day-to-day -day behaviors your vision you are the reason you do or don't 
have in your path the things that you want. Here is an example. When you start accepting that weight loss is science and not magic, then you accept that you are the reason you're overweight. Not because your mom's overweight, not because you got kids, not because your bones are three times heavier than mine. No, it's because you eat more than you should and move less than you should. Point blank period. Yes, people have metabolic conditions, but the people that I've met with metabolic syndrome are people, that's the first thing they say. You still see them eating Snickers every day after lunch at work. You still see them uh, choosing to take the step, the elevator instead of stairs. It's like, which one comes first? Is it because you have conditions that your lifestyle is trash or do you have these conditions because your lifestyle is trash? If people took more ownership of the fact that it's their, they are responsible for the reason they don't have the body they want, maybe they would get the body they want. But as long as it's somebody else's fault, how can you do anything to improve your situation? Then you see some people who, for instance, that show my 600 pound life. You see so many people on there, they have all these reasons. They can't possibly get up and walk after they have the surgery. They can't possibly not eat 7,000 calories a day. There's all these reasons, but there are always people also in the show who you could probably put their um, biometrics or even their blood panel next to the other person and see they are the same health wise they still manage to lose 500 pounds and live a full life it's a choice the only difference in those that do and those that do not is that those that do have made a decision that they will so as long as we say we can't as long as we find reasons we can't then we won't point blank I think we should just stop looking for reasons, stop spending time looking for reasons that it's okay to be less than we want to be. I think it's okay not to really want that much, but when you start complaining about what other people have and disqualifying it, that really is because you wanna have that. So if you really want something, it's not okay to figure out reasons why you can't have it and not just try to make it a reality for yourself. A lot of times we say we don't want something, but it's only because we don't feel like we can have it. Some people truly don't want much, and I envy those people sometimes. I'm like, I wish I just wanted to work this customer service job for the next 20 years, because that would be a lot more simple than sitting here with a bunch of makeup inventory, with a YouTube channel, with two websites and no income <laughs> like that would be so much easier but that's not what i want for myself and we have to be true to ourselves i saw a friend last week i hadn't seen her in a long time and i noticed she looked different but i couldn't really tell what because she also kind of looked the same so i told her she looked different she told me she's lost 20 pounds over the past year and i remember the post that she put on facebook about how she finally realized that the reason she had a pooch wasn't from endometriosis. It was because she just wasn't taking that good care of herself. So she decided that she was going to start doing more. And I saw over the years she ran some races. Um, I think she was even doing meal prep. You know, people share their lives on Facebook like that. And what she said to me was so moving and inspirational and amusing. She said that she was on Instagram and she's looking at these Instagram models and she thought about how people always say that that is not realistic and people shouldn't try to look like that. And she thought to herself, but why can't I look like that? The Instagram models look like that, so I should be able to look like that. She doesn't look like an Instagram model. I'm gonna go ahead and say that. But she looks great. She is a better version of herself because she didn't come up with reasons why she couldn't possibly achieve this standard and in that process, she has raised her standard and achieved something that she didn't even have sight of 20 pounds ago. And she's not even a heavy person. Like she's definitely smaller than me. And she still pushed herself to another level just by taking ownership of the condition of her body and 
deciding that she was going to do more. I really want you guys to just, just like suspend judgments and biases for a moment and just realize that a person that had a TV show is the president of the United States. He wasn't a politician, wasn't a lawyer, wasn't a professor. Like this is a guy who owned some businesses, filed bankruptcy a bunch of times, and had a TV show where he fired people all the time and he's the president. Anything is possible. Anything, can, like there, there are no limits. We can do so much. It, the, the, the need to be qualified is just out the window. And that's not a comment on how apt it is that these people have whatever positions that they have. It's just to say, we are waiting to be validated. We're waiting for somebody to tell us that we're good enough. But maybe it's just up to you to decide that you are good enough, to decide that whatever it is, is accessible to you. There are so many people who have been in similar positions to another person and they don't make the same choices. They don't end up in the same place. There are people who started off with a single parent home. Maybe they were even abused. Maybe they fell behind in school. Maybe they were in special education and they still grew up to be successful. But some of us who grew up kind of middle class even or upper lower class we have all these reasons why it's okay that we haven't done anything with our lives or why this is the limit for us but if it wasn't the limit for that other person it doesn't have to be the limit for you it doesn't have to be the limit for me it's up to us that's where i've been this last year just realizing no one's going to give me permission no one's going to give me a handbook no one's going to mentor me to my own success i have to pursue it and while some paths to success are prescriptive, like maybe you want to be a doctor, maybe you want to be an attorney, even within those, you still have to develop yourself to actually maximize your opportunity. But some of us that we don't have that calling, I wish my brother's a pharmacist. He's making a ton of money. He's loving life. I see myself as him in a way like I feel like we are the same person when he graduated from pharmacy school I could not stop crying because for once somebody achieved something that I had seen for myself like I didn't want to be a pharmacist but I wanted to achieve a level of um, success or accomplishment prestige uh, respect and to see him do it made me feel a little part of me I wasn't woke yet this was 2015 a little part of me was like okay he did it Maybe I could do it. Maybe this means something about me too. So I wish I could follow that path. I, I wish I wanted to be a nurse, but I don't. And I'm here trying to forge my journey because I said, I'm not gonna let not being, not living paycheck to paycheck, not having debt, not being a teen mom, not being overweight, not having emotional issues. I'm not gonna let just like not the absence of chaos be my success like i wanted to have what my ideal of success was because people can look at me and be like you're successful you are healthy you have control of your life you are married and blah 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 and they think that's success but that's that's merely not failing and i just want more than that and i hope you guys can want more than that for your own lives that's all i'm saying in taking responsibility and ownership of the ways that you fall short, the ways you hold yourself back, the ways you are small, the ways you have not evolved, in taking responsibility and ownership, you are taking control. If you don't feel like you should be trusted with control of your own life, that's a different problem. But some of us just feel so powerless, but we really have all the power. Okay, I'm gonna actually get to cleaning stuff now. I wanted to share that with you. If that resonated with you, if you have something to add to the conversation, leave it in the comments. I, I just want us all to do more. There's not, there's room for everybody at the top because some people will push all the way there. Some people won't, some people don't want it at all. There's room. It's up to you if you're gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. So let me know if you're coming.
Thank you for watching.